Hey guys, so something that is very, very surprising to me is the amount of support Billy Mitchell has in my particular chat. So in my comment section, there is far more Billy Mitchell support than I could have ever imagined. Uh, it does seem like it is about evenly split, if not more people supporting Billy than not. Carl is the bigger YouTuber. He's the one with the Discord channel. He's the one with the million subscribers and millions of views, right? He is, I mean, in, in my opinion, legally, he is right uh, that this defamation thing is he should win. I don't think Carl will lose, but stranger things have happened. Uh, a lot of times, it's not always about who wins or who loses. It's about the cost of the litigation, uh, it can be some a scenario. Let me explain a scenario of my client. Uh, he had a forty thousand dollar contract dispute. He spent a quarter million dollars on that dispute, resolving that dispute, and the plaintiff spent probably a quarter million dollars as well. So, for a forty thousand dollar dispute, regardless of who won or who lost, even the winner was out over two hundred thousand dollars at the end of the day on a forty thousand dollar win. So when you have to pay your lawyers $250,000, assuming you want all $40,000 of it, then does that feel good? To Especially given the fact that plaintiffs and defendants will probably never ever talk or see each other again, and rightfully so, right? So for uh, in this particular case, um, I'm going to go ahead and say something pretty astounding to you guys. And you might not be aware of this, right? But I do think, you know, as a lawyer myself, that lawyers charge way too much money and they're too focused on getting money from their clients at any cost, right? Any any cost. Um, and that's what you see a lot in the legal field. That's why lawyers drive nice cars. That's why they live in big homes. That's why they do a lot of this stuff. Now, why do so many people support Billy Mitchell, when again, I think he has a a weak case. Like I said, the odds were 20 to 1, 5% that Billy Mitchell could win. And I would give odds for a kangaroo winning 1 to 2% in court because you really never ever know. I think it's because as more of the evidence comes out, even though it's coming out from a Carl Job supporter, it does seem like there is some type of bullying and harassment from a bigger YouTuber. Uh, Carl Jobs is much, much bigger than Billy Mitchell. And when he makes multiple videos about Billy, obviously, Billy is going to feel the consequences of that video. Now, is it his problem? Is it his fault? We can argue that or we might have different opinions, but the amount of Billy supporters in my comment section is quite amazing. You know, I, I, I try to take a neutral stance. I do like Carl's videos, and I first talked about Carl not in a completely unrelated thing when it came to Muta Hall and the completionist. That's when I first saw Carl's videos, and then I, I didn't I never even seen the Apollo Legends video, to be honest. I, it's been deleted, and I can't find it. So if someone can link it to me, that would be very, very helpful because then I can actually see. I've only read transcripts of it, but I don't know what the tone, I don't know what the thing is. The other part that is astounding is that Carl published a lot of his plans, a lot of, I mean, even to the point that you now know that he was going to leave his law firm if they didn't cut him a deal because they had asked for too much money. That's typically, like if you look at CoffeeZilla, he's very silent on how much money he raised, how much money he has. And he's very smart about that. Carl, however, has been very public on his ire. I, I don't even want to know. I, I mean, I don't want to. Um, in his, um, I guess I would call it hate. I don't know if you, if you would define it as hate. Um, I mean, there could be. I mean, yeah, I, I think I would personally define it as hate without. I wouldn't define it as malice. I would just define it as, hey, this dude is suing me and he's making my life really hard. Let me make a bunch of videos about this dude. So I, I would think it's more revenge type of hate than just doing it out of recklessness. 
But regardless, that there does seem to be a lot of people on Billy's side and they're combating Carl. So I thought Carl would have 99% of the people in the comment section just flaying Billy around, saying Billy this, Billy that. But I think the trial is changing people's opinion on it. Because some of the statements Carl has made, which I didn't know he made, like, the Kamer Law thing is pretty bad, in my opinion. Like, um, again, it doesn't affect, I believe it doesn't affect defamation case, but it does paint a picture of a person who needs, who's going to make a lot of videos, according to him, make hundreds of video or a hundred videos on, on Billy Mitchell, each video getting a million views, right? Uh, and and so on. I I don't think that's kind of the look, the humbleness, the turn the other cheek, right? That the Bible talks about. Love thy neighbor. Um, we live in a society where it is this bad. Um, at least in America, right? Trump and Camilla Harris. We go over that quite a bit on the shorts. It's it's getting bad out there, and it's even getting quite scary. Uh, to have a strong opinion in politics or to have any opinion at all. We see this with cancel culture. We see this with, I, I, I don't know. And this is a question I'll leave to you guys. Uh, I don't know if Billy, even if Billy was not defamed, for a man to come to Australia from Florida to give up whatever he's currently doing, to bring his son as his uh, key witness, right? That's quite a family trip. I, have you guys ever heard about this? A dad brings a son to a different country all around the world, right? And instead of like enjoying the country, you guys are, they're, they're just both stressed out about a lawsuit. I, I've never heard of this. Like this must have made Billy really, I think we have no, we, I don't think anyone doubts, even Carl Jobs doesn't doubt that Billy is mad. And Billy's rent vengeful. And Billy is litigious. Right? I don't think anyone doubts that based on his previous history of suing people, including Apollo Legend, and now what he's currently doing, that he does feel so in Billy's opinion, I so when when you take a look at the different perspectives, you're always trying to find middle ground as a judge, because to you, the plaintiff and defendant, they both have equal standing. The plaintiff has to prove the case. And the defendant, uh, if the plaintiff proves the case, the defendant might have affirmative defenses, such as proving the truth, right? The truth would be an affirmative defense that you would use if Billy is able to prove that defamation did take case, uh, that he was defamed. Then you can say, well, I didn't defame you because it's true. The shift in uh, how people see Billy is quite interesting. And I'll kind of leave it there. Um, I don't know. I think this trial did do a lot uh, in my eyes to see that like people have told me, and I believe this too, that Billy has no case. He has no way to put together a case. Like he's just doing this to hurt, you know, for no reason. And But I will always ask this question, would a per, even a logical human being spend this type of money, this type of risk, right? If he loses, he's got to pay Carl's massive legal expenses that his law firm is just milking every ounce like is you know did he gain any sympathy i don't know i'll leave that for you guys to answer in the comment section